Good day to you all. Crackham here, and we are reviewing the one, the only Sunset Overdrive for Xbox One, which is currently the uh, game for games of gold at the moment. So perfect opportunity to get this game for free. Now, it is an amazingly good game. I have to give it that. It's fun, fun, fast-paced, and really is quite an entertaining game really didn't see it ever being such a game but in the end I've played a few hours now and I'm pretty far through the plot line now through the city things like that and this is a damn good game the gameplay is admittedly a bit rustic at, for, at the first part because you're kind of still getting used to these new controls of a game where it's not really many other games like it apart from back in the day of Jet Set Radio but Apart from that, everything else is great. The plot, brilliant, great way that this game takes the piss out of itself. The amount of swearing is unreal, so not made for kids at all. Although in this day and age, probably more more accurately for kids more than anything. But the enemies, they're great. There's a range of enemies. You have the, the OD, you have the scabs, and you have the Fizco uh, Fizzbots. So you have those kind of three different enemies, three, and then they in that three different factions of enemies, you have all these variations. So you have the Herkers, Standard OD, the Poppers, the Boomers. Yeah, the Boomers. Other things like that, and there's, the OD especially are great because they are not just restricted to the ground. And that's a brilliant thing about this game, is that there is that kind of multi-level gameplay so you are constantly trying to figure out what's the best route to get to somewhere fast as possible you have so many different routes of taking gameplay as well you can find yourself uh, instead of taking on the enemy full blown with your weaponry you can decide to try and sneak around them and use the railings the walls anything to try and get yourself back out so it's a really smart game I have to give it that so I would honestly say gameplay it is an 8 out of 10 straight out. The plot, again, it's been amazing up to now from where I've got up to. There's a load of characters in it, really good laugh, and the story is kind of quite brilliant of the fact that I won't give away too much, but basically OD is OD are created by this overdrive drink and it's basically the, the everybody who's a survivor is now trying to escape a city. But the company who make the drink don't want anybody to get out of the city because obviously it's their fault. And if they let anybody out, it's going to go bad for them. So they're keeping everybody in. So your mission essentially is brilliantly just to escape. It's a very selfish mission and your character, he, he can be brilliantly selfish. And some of the linguo and the, the dialogue, what comes through in the game is brilliantly funny. Um, so I would give campaign kind of like the plot, the story. I'd easily give it a nine out of ten. Now, the one thing I would say is the controls. Controls can sometimes be a bit like if you do something wrong next thing you're on the floor and you're getting a shit kicked out of you, or you could be kind of shooting a gun and you could be needing ammo, but the ammo doesn't appear. So can be a bit like you sh you shitting yourself because you suddenly don't have any ammo and a horde of OD chasing after you. So I would probably say that is the weakness in the game is that the OD can sometimes overpower you and the controls can be very tricky. But obviously with a game such as this and how old it is now, I mean, looking at about two years now since it came out, but um, I think. Um, but nonetheless, it's a very hard game to get your head around with the controls at the start, but as soon as you do, I mean, I like I say, I've been playing it for ages now. I say ages, I've been playing it for about a week, and but I've been playing it a lot in that week, and I found that it's great. It's really, really well balanced after you've figured out the controls and you, you know what you're doing, and you're bouncing off walls and you're climbing on the rails and you're flipping rails and stuff. But yeah, I would say honestly, it. It's got teething issues at the start, but as soon as you get into it, you will be sold on it. So, I would say probably 5 out of 10 for the controls, primarily because they don't seem to 
work brilliantly at the first first point so it can put people off from playing the game but I would advise highly to stay stuck in with it so overall I would say that this game is definitely a must especially at the moment if you can get it on Xbox Live yeah, it's a uh, game for gold because you're getting a game for free and it'd be stupid not to get this one because it's an absolute classic of a game. I can see this being one of those where I will find myself, even though I probably will delete it after I've completed it, I will keep it and I will probably go back to it because that's another thing what I would say is also the multiplayer is great because the multiplayer not only puts you against your teammates in some missions but also it um, kind of makes you all team up because you all want to kind of obviously get the best kind of achievement at the end and you want to all kind of complete the missions so you have to even though some of the missions you fight against each other you're all still fighting to kind of get the highest points but at the same time to get a team bonus from everybody so you kind of want to make it fair but also not be letting people overtake you on the points really but yeah it's not a big multiplayer but it's a quite good repeat repeating multiplayer which I, I find myself from time to time when I've been on a campaign deciding to go off. So I'd say with multiplayer, I would honestly say about a 7 out of 10. And not loads to it, but it's really good for the game it is at hand. Anyway, I would say that overall this game, definitely a solid 8 out of 10 from me. Because it's just, it's entertaining. It Honestly, if you've got a bit of a sick sense of, sick sense of humour... This game is kind of for you because it can be quite dark in cases and also it's great to take the piss out of itself and the, a lot of the gags in it run from the commentary of kind of previous games and how things are so wave systems and oh look there's a mission over here and only will I be able to complete this mission if I find five locations in these really hard to hit locations with a boss battle. Uh, on that note actually boss battles one of the best games for boss battles I've ever played the bosses are brilliantly designed like a lot of the enemies and the characters but the bosses honestly all I will say is the fizz corp fizzy uh, inflatable blimp is one of the best boss battles I've ever had because it's just so open battle and so fun to do and the, again the commentary is dark as hell so highly advise uh, getting this game honestly to god Get it while you can on Xbox Live Gold, uh, Games of Gold because it'd be stupid not to go get it because it's such a good game. Honest to God, I highly advise go now and go get it. If not, and it goes back and it's uh, you paid for, I would probably say that if the price tag is around £15, it's probably worth it for a good game for a filler time. But... I would honestly say you could probably came through the, the campaign quite quickly, but I found myself doing a side missions, doing a bit of the multiplayer. So it has its last ability and it's an enjoyability. So what more can I say? Go out, go get Sunset Overdrive. It is an immensely fun game and you will not be disappointed with it. Anyway, that is Kragam out for this. And I would lastly like to say, if you have any opinions on Sunset Overdrive, please feel free to drop a comment below in the comment section. Or, if you like this, and you liked this face, oh, then click on subscribe somewhere around here. Well, click, click my face, because my face will be the subscribe button for this. I hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to hearing from hearing comments and feedback and obviously opinions on the game. I personally like it, but I know there's going to be people who don't like it. So, by all means, feel free to comment, subscribe, pow, 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 pow. Give us a like, even if you do, don't like the video, because why not? The internet. Uh, but nonetheless, enjoy, and hope to see you on Sunset Overdrive.